Hey, hey there, Leo. This is Joy with Joy of the World, here to take an intuitive peek into the energies going on around you. Friends and subscribers, welcome back. And if you're new to this channel, click that subscribe, ring the bell. They'll notify you anytime I post new videos. Also, if you find you like the content we provide here at Joy of the World, give us that big thumbs up, like and share, share with your friends, share with your peeps, share with your family. Let's help get this message out about Joy of the World. These are energy sessions right here to help you level up into your best dreams and your best self. So why wouldn't we want to involve more people? Lighten the burden and the load of this world, okay? So this is supposed to be a one card read this week. That's what they said and I'm like, okay, which deck? And they said that one and that one and that one. I was like, what? What is going on? And so anyways, it's a one tarot card. We have supplemental cards coming in, especially a card for Pluto and a card for Mars because they are making strong aspects all this year and bringing forth the power and the empowerment to help us step into our true self, okay? Also, if you're wondering where I was last week, Hurricane Sally came on through, took our power out, and so it was impossible to upload the videos. But I am back now, we are ready to ride on. Okay, Leo, let's see. Let's see what you got going on. We got the Mystical Dream Tarot for Leo. What's Leo's card? What are we focusing on this week? What's going on? Bring forward the light. Uh -uh, too many. And truth in the situation for you guys. Awesome. Glad to have you here, by the way. Thank you for tuning back in. Ah, interesting. The Hierophant. Hmm, I see you. The praise and the victory is trying to rise up. It's that awakening of your imagination and our imagination is our connection to the cosmos at large to the empowerment that is there like here you're calling upon the mountains for um, the victory instead of seeing them as an obstacle they are your power source they are your resource but it looks to me like you got something cooking up down here Leo in those lower regions, you're like, yeah, we're about to boil joy. We got something going on. And I'm like, oh, it looks like greener pastures. So maybe it's time for some intimate connection as well. Hearing these different eyes popping up, you might choose to tune in to a Scorpio this week. A Scorpio. Shirley Q. Licker. A Scorpio reading. And find out some what's going on there with the intimacy in the eyes. It's not just about sex and sexual connection. It's about the alignment of our embodiment, of our self, of our I am-ness. And coming into the truth and the power of who we are that we can celebrate and uplift ourselves as opposed to hemming ourselves in and being imprisoned by it. Which is very interesting because it is the Hierophant card. Let me take a closer look. There's something going on right around you. What are those? You're calling them glory bells. Mm -mm. I see something, baby. You are sweet. Man or woman, whoever's here, there's something about you that's sticky sweet. Like, honey, it's attracting and it's drawing things in like, like ants to the picnic. But that means you have something to offer. You have something to give. You have real substance, real form. Uh, you've applied yourself and you've um, created, crafted, and honed who you are. This Hierophant is showing up way more as the Hermit card, of the having drawn within to get to know your truth, your true alignment. Okay, so enough with that. Let's pick a, we're going to get a rune on this for you guys. The rune about this Hierophant slash Hermit energy here for, thank you, Leo. Oh, it's me. Hello, Pop. I'm here is joy. Okay, let's take a look at this. Travail is ended. Fruit bearing, new energy, clarity, and heaven on earth. And I see you as staking your claim, your rights to this heaven on earth because it is yours. It kept being bypassed and moved on to another. When we don't know our rights with the alignment of the eyes of who we are, what we're here for, and what does belong to us, it can be misused or, or, or sucked out of us or extracted, um, coerced out of us. It can even cause us to be unaware, right? Clarity here. And to be unaware of what truly is our nature, what is our reward, what is our benefit. Gotcha. You're like, ding, ding, ding. The benefit of who we are. 
the benefit of who you who you are is your sun and your moon aligning here and that brings in a whole new level of clarity it clears the air around you and it gets away and dissipates that old energy that had been sitting around actually you're saying the old synergy some old connections that you had to thought patterns but especially it's talking to people um Synergy it could be love connection. It could be friendship. It could be family members. It could be business. It could be um, Charities wherever else that it's been going, but it was uh, it's just time for a new day Let's just put it like that new synergy calling on to the mountains and the resources of the connection support that's here to empower you All right, it's important for you to be empowered because as you are the manifestation of who you are when your streams are tuned on your wheel of fortune on your zodiac chart on the eye of God it brings in the things that are innately and inherently you and it brings in a form and a capacity that others can see and grasp and get their mind around and therefore you're a facilitator of life here on earth thus the heaven on earth down here okay you become a wellspring of joy I'm liking that I'm liking that Leo so we're gonna get a moon oracle for you hello if that's one card I'll take it nope it's two it's two. Let's get some clarity here for Leo about this benefit. I see you. There we go. Ooh, peace. Talk about the peace that's blowing in that upper stratosphere, that atmosphere, and those connections. Peace is when there's no struggle. There's no power struggle. There's no um, competition, and that doesn't mean sports. We're talking about one-upping, bettering, um, arguing for the sake of winning, that, that whole struggle, strife, that whole energy is being dissipated here and you're being synergized with peace. You're connecting with people who know who they are and have a great concept of themselves, but they're also imaginatively open. They're someone who has inspiration in their heart, so they bring something to the table as well. They are whole and therefore they are offering of themselves and it allows you to really stand in your best light and be able to offer of yourself. Because Leo, as like the star on stage, you offer your whole self into whatever it is, but this brings in that empowerment. And I see a bit of Virgo stepping in here, some tar energy as well and that's on the love front people okay so um, it's talking about giving a rest to your high priestess male or female high priest high priestess it's that you know overworking of this zone this region of the intuiting which is where projections and of course that old synergy right these old mindsets could go and could cloud you and to cause a lot of clout a lot of other um, unnecessary humdrum going on around you but here we want to awaken the star vapor around you into the genuine connection with the cosmos the things that are afforded to you that are here important and relevant to your now to now so there's no weight no burden at e-i-g-h-t but that could also be w-a-i-t but there's no weight no burden here anymore it is clear and facilitating and it begins to move it 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 merges around you and it moves and it clears up some of the dust of the past and the debris of the past you need to know. The old, um, the desert, the barrenness, the empty promises, both that you made to yourself and to others. Some of it could be because you thought it was going a certain direction, you were committed to those and then at the bottom just fell and it dissipated out from under you and you were left, you know, jaw hanging, gobsmacked, what do I do? Well, those tumbleweeds, those things are being cleared away, okay? But you are not being hindered in any way, shape, or form in the midst of this. But there's definitely talking about a naked freedom that's a childlike, that's very innocent, it's incredibly divine, and um, nothing hidden, right? Nothing lost. So let's see who we've got going on here. Let's pick up Pluto with this energy to see about the nothing hidden, the nothing lost. What's going on? Nope, that's two. About those tumbleweeds and blowing it away. Oh, it's a 28. I love that. Mm, divine union with your with yourself, with another, and with the cosmos as well. So those of you who've been holding on a relationship for whatever excuse or reason has been, it is time. It is time. It is time. It's time for you to enter in into the bliss, into the pleasure of being human, of being in this lifetime, of not just being the star thrust to the forefront, but to also be the star in your own show, the one who gets to experience the intimacy, enjoy this life, savor the flavor, that whole thing. All right, baby, so let's see what well, Pluto came in inverted. Let me see something. 
Okay, I have no idea. So let's take a look. It's judgment. Somebody thinks about rising up as a writer. That through writing, it creates a new connection with yourself, a new clarity with yourself, a way to feed into yourself and divine who you are and decide who you are. Because there's, you're talking about a um, kind of like a stream of consciousness journaling. It's like some people lucid dream. It's like you lucid travel when you journal, and that's what you're talking about here. And it awakens your tree of life. It opens up the furls in that you're talking about the implements between the, the wood rings, the layers of time and opens up the implements. Well, that talks about some of your tools, giftings, magician, resources are tucked away between those folds in the crevices of the tree of life. That you, you, it's bad grammar, but you're saying you, you hidden them away. <laughs> you hidden them away in the meantime to keep them safe. They were tucked away in that solid state of matter that they would be concealed and protected for this time. I love it. So as you begin to write, it opens up and it creates this kinetic electricity, this connection to oneself. It's very, very Tesla, okay? Um, synergistic and that like attracts like. And your whole body, your whole self begins to be restored. Interesting. So this is very much a reiteration of what's in these mountains. Very much so. And it creates that kundalini experience going on, the awakening of the divine in yourself, parts that you just didn't even slow down to take time to acknowledge. Therefore, because they were they went unnoticed, you didn't afford yourself the advantage nor the opportunity to communicate with them, to utilize them, to dance with them, is what they're talking about in the divine dance. So let's get a credit card on this Pluto judgment coming in, the divining. You're talking about dividing, but you're calling it divining, the divining line. So that's bringing yourself together to be whole brain. And when we're whole brain, we definitely do see things clearly. And talk about an opportunity for joy right there, opening up. That's like that mountain bringing forth its goodies. All right. So let's get this out on the judgment, the Pluto. Thank you. For Leo. Oh, baby, underneath that earth, look at y'all tree of light. It's being watered. It's being gestated. It's all, it's all lining up. It's all lining up exactly as it should. It's right on time. And that's the neat thing is our higher self will protect us and divine these certain things like, like hidden within the folds, right? Uh, for a time such as this to bring it forward. And as you gain your clarity, that alignment brings forth the waters of life, the waters of joy, and it awakens your inner eye is what you're talking about here. Because when we write, we see clearly. And you see your beauty, your magnificence, your perfection. And men and women here, you know beauty is when we're in our fullness of our integrity and not the struggle to stay in it to make the outside environment and the inside environment match up. But when we truly connect and we're these organic, alive, living, breathing beings that are at ease and at one with all life and our own self in the world, that's when beauty steps forward. And we look magnificent. It's not even just like these little wrinkles and whatever we see in the mirror. It's the whole glow, the radiance, the um, the life that's exuding from within. Okay, so I love the cosmic world. These are a pit man that y'all got me. I love these cards. Thank you for your donation, by the way. So let's see what Mars has to say about this inner eye, this new vision, your beauty. Okay, thank you. Look at the back of that car. Look at that cosmic world. Look at it. You have, oh, there's the mountains. Look at it and the cloud on the mountains. That's the natural formation of the environment. And it's bringing forth these resources and turning your wheel. It's affording you an opportunity and opening up mm, to that divine connection. This is a love connection, Leo. A love connection. So let's see what we got going on here. We have the Jack of Hearts. Stop fighting yourself when it comes to this. You know, so the one that this guy at the top is like when your friends, huh, yes, they were friends because we were young. If somebody did it now, I think I'd think twice. But then take your hands and make you stop bopping yourself. Uh, 
you can tell I had a brother, right? So this is you kind of like making it hard on yourself, harder than it has to be, um, because you think that you have to deserve this, you have to earn this, that somehow you're not good enough, that some of this might be what you watched play out as you grew up in relationships around you, not necessarily even just your own, but what was divine love relationships, um, and thinking that you have to play into that cycle over and over again. But look at calm, cool, collected up here. It's like, mm -mm, I got my aviators on. I've set my dial. I've set my focus. I know right where I'm going to fly in and land. Because remember, it's all in perfect timing. It's all in perfect order. And you're ready to come in and land this love ship. Very much talking about Delta here. And I don't just mean Delta Airlines, but it's about the frequency, the Delta frequencies. And you're talking about in your throat, in your voice. Um, for you, it's going to be someone that you can really connect with uh, communication wise, that that is a, um, a strong intimacy for you. It is a deep connection that stirs you otherwise. It stirs your pot down below. You like, oh, you talk to me all sweet and we connect through conversation. That really stirs me up all over. But that's more of your point of resource here is um, somebody who's honest and sincere, forthright, truthful, and someone who also has their focus. They know themselves. They know their dreams. They, they cut to the chase. They don't get caught up and snagged in other people's BS. They don't get wrangled into other people's drama, whether it be familial drama, whether it be workplace drama, whether it be world drama. They, they kind of keep their opinions to themselves. It doesn't mean they don't share, they don't express, they don't talk. But remember, they have no need to struggle, no need to haggle, no need to have that contention or that power play going on. They're like, we're peace. We're good. Well, hey, Leo, that's pretty exciting. I love that for you. Open up to love, let love in, let the peace shine, let it warm and wash all over you and be at peace and know, do that writing, do that connecting. I love you. We'll talk soon.